All right, let's talk about tire sizes and gear ratios for these VWs. A lot of guys manipulate a lot of this stuff by putting wheels on their cars, and they don't make up for it with the tire with the transmission gear ratios. And I'm going to kind of go over what it's like driving one original car um, in different years and stuff like that, so you can kind of get the feel for what you might want to do on your car. Um, originally, the 19 in the early 60s and in the 50s they had um the first transmissions were split case transmissions and you guys might know that but the gear ratios in the split split, split case transmissions um there was some misinformation on i go to ratwell.com uh, ratwell and they have a lot of cool stuff on gear ratios but i noticed one thing they have wrong is uh, i looked this up in my manuals and i found it to be different so the uh, gear ratios on the split case transmissions were uh, 437 gears, 4.375, I always call them 437s, that's what we always call them. And then the later models in the late 60s was a 412, and then they went up to in the Super Beetle. So if you look at the Super Beetle, had one side of the transmission was had access to the you could pull off only one side and those had 388s so let's talk about which ones work well and which ones don't in the early bugs in the 50s and 60s they had the 437 gears it's for the 25 horse and 36 horse engine they had the 437 gears and they had a 0.824th so VWs don't have a one to one fourth gear. It's always, uh, it's always, it's always a overdrive fourth. Okay, and then they make up for that so that it, the final drive comes out. So all you do is you take your your uh, fourth, you know, like four thirty seven times 0 0.82. That gives you your final drive gear ratio. So that kind of helps you understand how that works out. Um, on the early cars, it was 0 0.82 fourth. Okay. When they when they came out with the 40 horse and they had the full case transmission was the same year they came out in 1961. This is a 1961 car. They came out with the full case transmission that had 437 gears and 8.89 fourth. So the 40 horse, a lot of people drive a 40 horse car and they think it's more powerful than the 36 horse. There really wasn't that much difference in the horsepower and torque um, it was not that much difference um, the difference was is that with the shorter gear ratio in fourth it felt like or shorter gear ratio yeah in fourth gear it would feel like it had more power on the freeway so they had just a little bit more power because of the engine rpm being a little bit higher on the freeway and actually it's quite a bit different um, so a lot of guys will take a regular stock transmission from an early car and they'll maybe put low profile tires on their car and they will find out that their car will only go like 50 on a 55 on the freeway. So you've got to do your gear ratios in your transmission for the tire size you have. So I believe the original size, you know, let me see, I'm going by totally by memory. I looked this up this morning. I couldn't find it real easily, but I believe it was B7815 was the original uh, size tire, which matches up. So none of us are going to have those old bias supplies, but, um, well, some people do, but anyway, the, um, the, the replacement tire for that was a 165 SR or 80 R15. Standard rim size is SR and ADR is the same as standard rim. So um, the replacement tires are 165, 80, 15. Okay. That's the proper size for your car. So a lot, but a lot of guys are going with say 195, 60s or 195, 65s. And those have a shorter height than the original size tire. So you need to make sure Go on those tire sites and make sure, look at the height of your tire if you're going to replace it. So let's say, for instance, you get a tire and it's two inches shorter than your original 165.15. 
well now you're going to need to get to be able to have the same gear ratios driving uh, as you do with your 165 15 and 437 gear you're going to need to have like a 388 or something like that a gear ratio setup in your car and it'll still drive like a 437 so you the things you can do is you talk to your transmission guy and some guys go with like a 388 with if you're using really low profiles tires they go with a 388 gear and an 82 fourth instead of the 89 so the later models split uh the, the round full case transmissions all had 89 fourth gears okay unless you had a bus those were different they were had different gear ratios so if you try and flip your ring and pinion and put your bug transmission in your bus a lot of times you'll find out that it'll only go 45 or 50 and that's max speed and you if you go any faster than that you're going to burn your engine up so those are all things that are really important getting the proper gear ratio and knowing what's in your transmission is really important what it's like driving one of these is um they're kind of nice because it has that higher rpm you seem like you always have power with uh with these but you know then again your top speed is maybe you know 75 if you go much faster than that and again if you're cruising at 75 and going 75 the entire time it's not good for the engine to be running that many rpms stock vw engines without a cam without carburation uh don't like to rev much higher than 3500 rpms uh, you start to get into that 3800 4000 rpms and the engine will run hot so just keep that in mind it's not always a good idea to keep it running that way so for instance this car on the freeway um it likes 70 it will go 70 even though it's a 36 horse um which has got a little bit of performance stuff done to it not much but the split case transmission stock uh, with stock size tires will do 70 no problem and i can cruise at 70 and the engine is not screaming at me telling me to slow down the most ideal gear ratios for stock tires is a 388 gear i feel um, it has a really nice uh, engine rpm at 70 which is basically your cruising speed today again if you're running lower profile tires than that then that 165 15 which is a pretty tall tire um, you might want to consider going to a even taller gear ratio the the tallest gear ratio that you can buy for a vw transmission is a 344 gear set 344s are what i put in my split window buses with gear reduction boxes with big nut transmission i'll run a 344 gear ratio and i'll put a bug fourth gear in because the bus fourth gear was a 0.82 i'll put a bug fourth gear in and that'll make it feel a lot like a 388 in your bug so that's why on my buses i can go you know if i need to which i don't normally drive this fast but i can go over 80 miles an hour with a uh with a one or a 205 75 15 tire or 14 tire so if for some reason you're not lucky enough to have a big nut uh axles like in the other bus um and you have the small nut axles on this one i have a 205 75 15 inch tire and i'm running a small nut and a 344 gear ratio you know the top speed on this thing is still a little bit less than the other one it'll do 75 no problem i can cruise at 70 um it'll even push up to 80 if i need to to pass um but it's always ideal if you have a bus and this has a 82 fourth so i have the 344 gears and an 82 fourth gear and then it has the 1.39 to 1 small nut gear reduction boxes so if you want to get your transmission to you know work well with your tire size again so these are have a certain height you can go to the tire size they have a they'll tell you how much how many inches shorter uh, you can compare tires it'll say like this is say for instance 29 point so and so inches tall and then you go to a 
one ninety five seventy five or sixty five fifteen tire, and it'll say that that's just like maybe an inch shorter or something like that. I'm just giving you examples. You can go on those websites and you'll figure out how much shorter it is. So if you're going with custom wheels and low profile tires, um, you're going to want to make sure that your transmission is geared properly so that you're not screaming going down the, high, the highway. Because if it's the engine RPMs are really, really high on your car, your engine's probably going to run hot. Even though for some reason people seem to think it's air cooled, it needs to have a lot more air going through it, it's going to run cooler. That's not necessarily true. VWs don't like to rev really high for long periods of time unless you have a lot of work done to the bottom end. And like, you know, if you have a really big cam in it and it has a power curve where it likes to be at higher RPMs, maybe you've got um, additional advanced timing, you know, and different things like that to, to engineer the difference and make them run higher RPMs, they'll let you know. You know, all you got to do is just floor it every once in a while. And if you hear any pinging, you know it's running hot, slow down. You know, I, I've heard of guys say that, you know, a 344 gears in a bug is too much. It just doesn't um, work well. It does, gives it too many, you know, it's too low of an RPM on the freeway. You know, I don't know that for sure because I've never put 344s in a bug. But um, I, I can tell you um, that, guys, the, the typical freeway flyer numbers are 412 transmission, which is the middle one that's like a it came in a 68 69 bug 67 68 69 70 and an 82 fourth and when you jump to that 82 fourth in a bug unless you have really short tires um it just doesn't have enough rpm on the freeway in my opinion um but the best combination to me is 388s with an 89 fourth that was what came in the late model and the early model Super Beetles and the late model Super Beetles. And it gives you that perfect RPM so that you can cruise 70 and your third gear is a lot taller. It's kind of nice. Your third gear, if you have a performance engine, I've gotten up to 75 and third with that transmission with the A388s. And, uh, you know, it'll cruise at 75, 70, no problem. And it just seems to like that. Okay, um, so going to a 344, unless, if you're going to, if you have really low profile tires and you want that same feel of the, uh, uh, of the three, 388s, you know, 388s with a stock tire size, you might want to go to the 344 just to give yourself that same feel as the 388s are with the lower profile tires. You have to kind of do your own math. You have to do your own engineering kind of look at those numbers and figure well if it's two inches shorter than the original tire you know i maybe i better jump up to the next gear ratio higher and uh, go for the 344 and and do it that way now i will warn you the 344s are not cheap so when you start getting up in these transmission things and, and apparently there's issues maybe with the gears aren't as strong as the 388s the 388s were german steel the 344s I don't know where they're made, so I'm not sure if the, the steel is quite as good, and I think they're an aftermarket gear set. So those are all things you want to discuss with your transmission guy who's doing your transmission and then try and figure out what the right thing is for your tire sizes. Um, I'm just trying to tell you about this stuff so you're aware that all of a sudden you don't just go, oh, wow, all of a sudden you drive your car and you're like, wow, how come it doesn't go fast? You know, Well, discuss that with your transmission guy. It might be a good idea. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.